Las Vegas haunts celebrating 22 years of chills and thrills in the valley, and even with new safety protocols in place, they're still giving us what Forbes magazine calls the best haunted houses in the U.S. for Halloween. Our own Rocky Theus is live and headed to the asylum, and frankly, Rocky's freaked out. Yeah, frankly, I am freaked out, Brian, and I think you guys know why. If you've ever been down here to Meadows Mall and have been to Hotel Fear or the Asylum, you understand my pain right now. Now, earlier in the show, I was looking for a tour guide because Dr. Vander, who's supposed to run this joint, he's no longer with us. He's a, you know, he's just that right there. So I found him, Rich, who actually designed this place, and I think you're the guy. I think you can take me around. I think we can make it. Can we make it safely? Though? You can make it. <laughs> you I have confidence in you. Okay, so of course you guys have been named the best of Nevada, some of the best in the U.S. Why is that? Is it because this place actually feels real? That's what I think. So our hallmark is that you know everything is as realistic as we can be. Uh, we take very great steps to make sure there's layers and layers and layers of detail. Right. So like most places, you say instead of us copying a movie set, ours are so detailed that actually a horror, several horror films were filmed in our attractions. What? The Must, Must Three trilogy was filmed. Listen, here. I believe you. Oh! So in that case, in that case, in our case, we don't we don't go after movie sets. Movie sets oh! are yours as well. Okay, Rich, we're gonna keep going because we are at the asylum. You're at now the you, asylum. you talked about the design of this place. Now just kind of, or you talked about the story or the design, but tell us now the story behind where we are. We have the two attractions, the, the hotel and the asylum. So there's an interconnected storyline between them. Whew, okay. There's the two families, the Fiore family and the Vander family. So now we've updated with the new asylum. We're uh -huh. updating it 20 years in advance of what has happened in the past. Uh huh. So there's new scenes, <laughs> new things in the asylum itself. <laughs> And yet there's new things at the hotel because <laughs> the storylines do connect. Oh my gosh. So what you're telling me, oh my gosh, is that this place, it changes every single year. So there's something to look forward to or not. Always something a little different. Always something that we can add to. Right. To but it always has to stay within the storyline and course. within what we're doing. So that way we move forward. Mm -hmm. And when, we, when you're in here, you want to feel like you're in an actual asylum. Well, I, I'd like to tell you that, I've, that you've done a great job because I feel like I'm in an asylum. And I, one note I want to make is you guys say, you know, being scared or coming into places like this is good for mental health. It's actually good to be, actually, to feel there, fear. It's there's been several stories that have been done and it shows that during times of, of, of tragedies and things like this, yeah. during 9-11, during October 1, yeah. people needed that escape because yeah. we're facing real fears like this COVID that right. we have no control over. But if you come to a haunted house, you still have that control, believe uh, it or not. Because uh, you know, that. when you get out, you will survive, you will come out of this, and you will be stronger because of it. Okay, yeah. well, I'm taking your word for it. Coming up later in the show, we're going to Hotel Fear because you're going to let me out of this place, right? Did you have a checkout? Oh, God, I'll send it back to you. Rocky, you did a good job. Look at that. Stayed the course, even when there were people, inmates in the inside, just slamming their body against the wall. Did you see that? Okay, now Rocky is fully crouched down in the catcher stance. She's staying steady. She's looking around the corner. She's back on her feet, covering her face. Rocky, you're going to make it through this. Everybody, moment of silence for Rocky. Okay, well, she can do this. Find spot, Wait, I think, I think I'm kind of in a corner. I don't know where to go. Okay, she is in the corner. She has nowhere to go. That's where we wrap right there. Hopefully, we see Rocky back at the station later. Kira? Yes, indeed.